Welcome to the ultimate guide to ASEA Redox, answering your common questions. In this video, I will delve into the most frequently asked questions about ASEA and its Redox signaling products. Uh, if you are on a learning journey right now, trying to figure out what this is, how it works, is it safe, is this right for me, this video is for you. Now, a little bit of background on me. My name is Danielle Matthews. I have a degree in biology from the University of Virginia, and I actually came across ASEA's redox signaling technology back in 2014. Uh, a lot has happened in the world since then, and a lot in the, the field of redox signaling, as well as with ASEA itself. Now, I have had the privilege of interviewing a lot of the members of the Medical Professional Board at ASEA countless times, I've interviewed the founder of the company, Tyler Norton. I have spoken with and done an interview with the president, as well as the VP of production and distribution. Every single week, I do a Q&A call with a member of the medical professional board. And in that forum, I take the questions from the audience, people like yourself, looking for information and give them to him uh, to answer those questions. I also run and oversee a Facebook group that has 15,000 people in it as of filming that are current product users that are looking and uh, to get more information once they've started on the product. So I'm very good at connecting people with information and I wanna give you that background so you have some context as to the experience I have and the depth of knowledge I have uh, from just what I've been able to do personally as well as with the thousands of people I've helped and all of the interviews. So with that, let's jump in. Uh, what I know for sure is that as you start to learn about ASEA, more and more and more questions kind of pop up. But typically, the most common question is, what exactly are redox signaling molecules? Is this something ASEA made up? I have never heard of it before. Give me some context, please. So let's get into this. Redox is not something ASEA made up. Redox stands for reductance and oxidants. It's a huge field of science. Um, this is something that in the late 90s, the first Nobel Prize was awarded for research in this area. What makes ASEA unique is that they have stabilized these redox signaling molecules outside of the body in a bioactive form. What does that mean and why do you care? Well, redox is life. Your body is just trillions of cells. Those cells have to communicate in order for us to function. They communicate through electron transfer. Reductance, give an electron, oxidants, take one. Your body makes reductant and oxidant molecules. A lot of them come from sodium and chloride and hydrogen and oxygen. You are a sack of saline. And so the body sources the building blocks to make these reductants and oxidants from saline. Those four building blocks are used to make different combinations and different molecules. Those molecules have different roles in the body, mainly communication. So when there's damage, they're the alert call that goes out. Uh, if you have a mutated cell, that's the alert that says, hey, we need to kill this cell off. Uh, inside of the cell, our genes have to be activated and signaled to you know, turn on so that we have the genetic expression for certain things like you know, our immune system and the inflammatory response in the body. Those things get shut off and impacted with age, with stress, with toxins. As you get older, your mitochondria are less efficient. And so the body is not able to make as many reductants and oxidants as it did when it was young. And therefore you have less in your body, which leaves you kind of in a tough situation where when you have damage, the alert call as you get older gets weaker and weaker. And then the body doesn't hear the issue and you have things that become chronic. You have something you go into the doctor for. You have a mutated cell that didn't get detected. Now we know what we have, right? So what would happen if you could increase the communication, if you could help the body detect issues faster, like it did when it was young, so it has a clear communication line? That's what adding ASEA into your system does. It simply helps your body figure out where is their damage and how can I repair it? What's been switched off that needs to switch back on? Now, the next question that I hear often is, all right, <laughs> Show me the research, right? What is science saying about this? What's the research that's been done? Great question. Back in 2014, when I learned about this, the biologist in me was like, show me the research. And um, the company itself didn't have too much. So I had to go to PubMed, I had to go to Google Scholar, and I had to see, well, what is the scientific community saying about redox signaling? And how is the balance of reductants and oxidants impacting disease and illness? There is a lot of information out there. Uh, you can go there. If you're not a scientist, it will probably overwhelm you. Uh, ASEA has done a lot more research since then, and they're constantly funding new research. Um, all their research is structure function. 
All right, so there's a great website, discoverredox.com. I really like this one. If you go up to the top and you click Redox Science, it's gonna open you to a page where they've basically summarized all of the studies. The safety studies they've done, the impact it has on glutathione, the NRF2 pathway, how it helps stressed cells, um, oxidative stress, uh, gene expression. It also goes on to talk about the studies that have been published, that have been peer reviewed uh, on mice. Uh, there was a lot of research done on athletes at the beginning as well as the redox gel and what they're seeing it do with turning our skin cells over faster, helping with cellulite and things like that. If you would like to get deeper, you can click in and actually get the PDFs of this information. So I wanted to share that with you. It's a great reference. Go dive deeper. Um, but the most common thing people want to know is safety, right? Can this stuff hurt me? And um, is it going to help with my issue? So <laughs> those are the next common questions. Uh, will it help with my issue? Here's what I can tell you. Uh, it cannot hurt you. And when you take it, it's gonna go into your system and it's going to help find where your cells are damaged. Now, this might be something you're consciously aware of. It might be something you're not aware of. It might start working on something that you didn't even know was an issue. And so you might not think that it's working at the beginning because the thing you're consciously aware of, it hasn't gotten to yet, right? The body has its own checklist. So what we do is we tell people, baseline your health. Take a health tracker, you'll get one when you start and say where you are with everything, day one. Then start your SIA and look after a week. After a week, what I've seen with the people I work with, about 10% see a shift, which means 90% of you are not gonna notice anything a week in, okay? One bottle lasts you about a week. It's not enough, all right? Uh, stay on it. 30 days in, I see about 50% of people seeing a shift in that health tracker. 60, 90 days in, at 90 days, I see about 90% of people. I tell people, go 90. You know, most of your cells will turn over in a 90 day period. You didn't get in your situation overnight. This is not a magic pill. It's not gonna get you out of it overnight. But over time, what it will do is it will help your body repair cells. This is not something you normally feel, right? You don't feel when you're low in vitamin D. We don't feel some things in our body. But as you start to take this and the cells start to repair, well, the tissues that those cells are a part of will start to repair. Might be a tissue in your stomach. It might be in your lungs. It might be in your liver. It might be in your brain, your skin that organ will then start to function better and that system will function more optimally and then you'll start to notice. All right, so be patient with it. Um, this is something that, you know, I haven't, <laughs> there's not a health challenge I haven't seen it touch. It just takes time. So allow yourself the time uh, to do it and, and do not jump to conclusions thinking it doesn't work because you just haven't been patient. Uh, so that's the answer to that one. The next one, can I be allergic? Is it gonna interact with my medicines? The quick answer is, look, there's a lot of safety information on this. It has no contraindications with meds because what's in this is in you. Your medicines are already interacting with redox. Um, you might notice that it starts to repair things. So the medicine you were taking to mask a symptom that you were having, you no longer need. All right, I'm not telling you to go off your medicines. You'll consult with your doctor, but as you start to track things, you might go, wow, you know, I'm not having these issues anymore. I wonder if I still need this. So just monitor, watch yourself. Um, you cannot be allergic to it and uh, it's completely safe in that like there's no toxic level that builds up. They've done a lot of safety studies on this and you know, people drink between four and eight ounces and that's just kind of um, up to you on what you wanna do. I'll get into that in a moment, but you don't need to worry about overdosing or having too much of it. And uh, what are side effects? This stuff can't hurt you. All redox will do will amplify communication, helping your body to repair, helping things to get activated that were turned off. It can upregulate glutathione, which is a master antioxidant in the system, which detoxes the body. So you might feel a slight detox. It's not a bad thing. <laughs> it's actually a good thing, uh, but sometimes it's not fun to go through. So just note that and just you know drink more water. All right, uh, final questions. How much should I take and how long do I need to take it? All right, here's what I would tell you based on that health tracker, right? Um, stay at least 90 days. With the gel, instant gratification here, we can show you how within minutes you can see it working uh, with simple strength tests, flexibility, using it for discomfort, um, putting it on things on the skin. This one, uh, you certainly wanna get your hands on because you'll see it working and feel it working faster than the liquid because the liquid's internal and this, you localize where you put it. Uh, how much? Between four and eight ounces. The answer to that is really gonna depend on your age and what's going on in your body. I think about the analogy of a house. As your house gets older, more issues pop up. 
and uh, less people are coming onto the job site, right? So as we get older, our bodies are breaking down more and there's less repair workers on the job. So the question is, how old are you, right? How many repair workers are currently working? Uh, every decade of life, you've got about 10% less redox. So just kind of see where you are. And how much damage is there, right? You could send one repair guy to the job site. If there's a lot of damage, it's gonna take time. Wouldn't it be better to send 10? And that's kind of with this. Four ounces might be it, or if you've got a lot going on, you might want eight ounces, right? You play with it, you be the judge, uh, go up and down, test it, see what's best for you. And uh, if you have questions, talk with the person that you know shared a Sea Redox with you. If that is me, if you have made it this far in the video, uh, you certainly qualify for a consultation with myself. And you can simply just reach out uh, to the number that's in the description. I would be happy to do a consultation with you, see if this is something that is right for you and to help you get started. All right, I will see you on the other side and I look forward to hearing your questions.